Hey, and welcome to Fiddler Man's Q&A. Today's question is one that I'm passionate about, and it has to do with dynamics. Let's hear the question. Hey, Pierre. First off, I'd like to start out by saying how much I appreciate everything you do. You're a great friend and, and mentor. It's, it's a great sign. The question I'd like to ask is regarding dynamics. A lot of times, like when you do your critiques on, on Fiddler Man, you'll mention that we need to use more dynamics. I understand that dynamics is the level of volume that we use on, on a certain tone, but I'd like uh, to see you maybe do a couple demonstrations on a piece or something where you point out the use of dynamics. Thanks a lot. Barry, that's an excellent question and one that's very important to me and that's why I mention it so often. For me, expression equals dynamics. The same way when we talk, we don't just talk in monotones, we raise our voice and we lower our voice to be expressive. So let me just take a real basic, simple piece, Mary Had a Little Lamb, which when you sing it, it's a song and it has words that make it more expressive, but you don't have that when you play an instrument. You don't have the words, so you need to express yourself in another way. So. That's the second sentence right here. Now, different people will phrase differently. You have a different idea than somebody else on how it should be expressed. How, and that's what kind of makes music interesting, right? The, the variety in ways of playing a piece. But no matter what, you add the dynamics, it makes it more interesting. Somebody might choose to play really loud to begin with. And play softer on each little lamb. Softest on this one. Little lamb. And then the second phrase, soft and get louder. Now, I'm playing this without vibrato to show you guys that you can be expressive in other ways. The important thing is that whatever you do, you have a conscious idea of what you're doing and why you're doing it. Have a plan. It might make it more interesting if you have a plan. It'll make it more convincing not only for the person that's listening but for yourself which will make you more comfortable with what you're doing. Um, another situation where dynamics come in handy are for example if you're playing a fiddle piece, a bluegrass or Cajun piece and you want to be rhythmically more convincing you don't have drums to give you the accent, the beat so you want the audience, the listener to understand what you're trying to give them. So let's take Cajun cooking, for example, and I want you to hear the, the two and the four. You'd be clapping your hands if I do it conventionally. One, two, three. I'm putting an accent on the two and the four to give you the feeling of clapping on the mm, ba, mm, ba, one, two, three, four, instead of a one, two, three, four. Anyway, there are different ways of using dynamics, and none of them can really be considered wrong. Some can be considered better and more enjoyable to listen to, but each and every person's own opinion is what really matters, and your own way of expressing yourself is very important. Now, that's what I have to say about dynamics for right now. If you have a Q&A that you want to submit to me, see the instructions on the about this video below. And for anybody interested, this is a Fiddler Man concert violin that you can purchase at fiddlershop.com. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.